What's going on everybody, Quaker here, back with another video. Today I bring you the first app review in about two and a half to three weeks. Today I bring you Magic Pods. Magic Pods is an application that allows you to use this right here, the Apple AirPods, and I think it works with the AirPods Pro. I'm not sure if it works with the Beats headphones that use the W1 chip or the W2 chip, whatever they call it, uh, but it allows you to use your AirPods on your Windows 10 PC. and not just via like Bluetooth, but it actually shows it actually shows the animation as if you open up uh, your AirPods on your iPhone or like your iPad or whatever your Apple device. It shows that animation and makes it pretty easy to constantly use it instead of having to always uh, go to your Bluetooth settings and hit connect every single time you want to connect to your AirPods. It allows you to just do it right easily after the first setup. It makes it seamless every single time. Let's see how it works. Let's check out the settings app for it and just check it out. All right, so here we are taking a look at Magic Pods. This application right here, you're only seeing about half my desktop because the monitor is so big. But this application right here, this is how it looks like. I currently have one AirPod in my ear. And what you'll see is that when I take this AirPod out of my ear and I'm gonna put it in the case, you'll see it disconnects and you heard that case disconnect and you see that it went away. It's kind of like buzzing in and out like that, but it's disconnected now that it realized, oh, you're no longer using the AirPods. Now, when I open the case, let's see if it shows an animation. You saw the animation to the right and then you see on the app itself, it shows that same thing. If I take the left AirPod out, you can, you'll see that the battery start charging indicator goes away on that left one. So then I put it in my ear and then if I take the right one out, and put it in my ear, you'll see this too, that the battery indicator thing will also go away, which it did. So then I close the case, and then you can see that the AirPods are both in my ears, and when I take them back out of my ears, and I put one or the right one inside the case, you see the battery charging indicator comes back, and then because the case is charging the battery, so the case is in use, it shows the case's battery indicator as well. The case is not charging, but if I grab this charger here, and I plug in the case, Let's see if the case will show the charging indicator for the case. If it doesn't, then we know that it doesn't have full support for everything AirPods are about. So currently, it doesn't look like it has that support. So let's see if I can take it out one more time, put it in my ear. Okay, you see that it's in my ear, it's used. Put that back in the case for the initial test. Let's see if the case will show that it is charging. Yep, the case is charging because I plugged the cord in it, so it is charging and then it went away, it's kind of buggy, but it works. So you can see, you can't see my face physically, me doing this, but you heard the sounds of what goes on when it is working. Now, when I go to settings, this tells you everything there is to see for this application, and I'm just gonna actually make this really big. So this tells you everything that the settings app for this thing is. Basically it says when one ear pod is out of the ear, decrease volume and it will decrease the volume by 75% when uh, one earphone is out of the is out of my ear. And then it has other features here. It says if you take one earphone out of your, um, for ear detection, if you take one out of your ear, what will happen? You can choose it to play and pause, uh, both decrease uh, volume and play and pause, or just do nothing. It just continues the same usual stuff. You can also search AirPods. Basically, it says AirPods can be detected by radio signals. Set the minimum signal to the average value of the live signal. I don't even know what much of that means in the first place, but all I know is uh, they it searches for the AirPods and makes sure that it can be detected, and when it picks it up, then it's like, oh, this is what I should do. That's what the application does. It's a very straightforward one. You have fast search, so it says if no one else is around you using AirPods that you know of, um, my neighbor pretty far away from here is using AirPods, I'm pretty sure. Um, you can turn on fast search, but it's not that far away that my iPad will pick up her AirPods, so it's pretty good. Um, so this is like if someone is in close vicinity, let's say you're in class and you have your laptop on or you're in the library and say a college library and other people are using AirPods, don't turn that feature on because you may pick up uh, other AirPods. Uh, here you have the AirPods splash screen. So once again, that splash screen, if I open up the case uh, over time, you'll see that the, the splash screen shows up. And that's that splash screen that showed up in the center here. It doesn't look like it's showing up right now. Let me see what happens if I take one of the AirPods out and put it in my ear. Let's see if it'll show up. Doesn't look like it's going to show up. Looks like sometimes it's a little buggy, but it works most of the time. 
Um, and basically, yeah, that's that splash screen you saw in the beginning of the screen. It says shows splash screen like on iPhone when you open the case. If the animation doesn't work well, set the signal average value of the live signal from the search AirPods. Again, once again, I don't know what most of this stuff means in terms of uh, the signal and live signal stuff, but these are pretty much the defaults that the application gave me in the beginning. You can set the size of that splash screen right there. So if you want the splash screen to be middle or large, so basically small, medium, large is what they are. And then you can hide the tray icon basically in the corner on your system tray, basically on the right side, not your start menu here, but like I'm showing you a basic example of where the tray is. You'll see that um, the you'll see the magic pods logo on there and you can disable that icon altogether um it says when airpods are connected shows average battery left and on the right uh airpod and the tray icon icon update each minute so it'll update each minute and it'll tell you the battery strength based with whether you want analog or digital and then you can have low audio latency it says useful when working with in premiere or audition requires re reconnecting airpods after turn on may increase battery consumption so basically if you've used a Bluetooth speaker and you try to play certain things um, and they take a second for it to catch up, you, maybe it's off sync, the mouth is off sync or something like that, you can turn on that feature and that way you can hear the mouth as you're seeing the mouth move, you can hear the mouth um, as well. You can hear the person talking. And then you have here startup, run on startup. You can enable or disable this in the startup tab in task manager. Um, so basically, you just go to Task Manager, go to Startup tab, and then you can also then you'll see all your startup tasks. You can turn that off so it doesn't run at startup. That you just have to open it up yourself. I enabled it just because it's a cool thing to have. And then last thing, you can enable debug mode so that you can report issues and things like that, and you can troubleshoot. So yeah, it's a pretty straightforward application. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to do before I close out the video is I actually wanted to show you guys. Um, Say in Spotify, what happens when you open up something like Spotify in this application? So let's say I'm opening up Spotify. So let me get that open. So right now, this is what I'm listening to. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just double check real quick. You guys can't see it. So right now it's connecting to my uh, Yeti microphone. So let me actually connect to the AirPods. So let me try to reset them. So I'm going to close them out. It says AirPods are charging now. Close the case. It says AirPods are charging. It's kind of confused right now. It's not showing me that I'm using the AirPods. It's showing that. All right. So now let me take the AirPods out of my ear, both of them. Let me make sure that they connect. I hear the sound. It says uh, headphones, Kwaku's AirPods stereo. You can't see it. It's just off screen, but it is there. And now let me hit play. And then I hear the music now. The music is playing and it works pretty well. And then since I set the settings of this application to decrease volume after one of them is down, I'm going to do that. So if I take one out, let me see how long it takes. Okay, it takes about three seconds for me, and it lowers the head it lowers the headphone volumes by about 75% or whatever a number that I change it to. So let me put the other one back in, and then it's playing right now. So what you're going to see too is this. So what I'm going to do as a live test for you guys to see, so I'm going to change it to one AirPod out of the ear. This is what it does is it plays and pause, and it happens in Chrome, Opera, uh, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Yandex Music, and Spotify. So right now, music has been playing the whole time. That's why I'm talking so loud. But let's see. I'm going to take, I'm going to take the left one out this time. Let's see what happens. We take the left one. I already took it out for a while now. Now it paused. So it took about five seconds for it to pause. And you saw that hip hop just saved my life or hip hop saved my life paused. If I put it back in my ear, you see that it started playing right there. So it's really cool. It's a really cool feature. I, I, it's night and day. It's really cool. Um, when it works, it works well. I think the price for this application is actually, let me take this out of my ear so I don't talk so loud. I think the price for this application is actually about, I think, $1.99, I believe, is how much I paid for it. And that took about seven seconds for it to uh, pause the music, but it paused. I have both AirPods out of my ear. And yeah, this application is about, I think, $1.99. Um, and it's, it works so, so well. I'm, I'm surprised because this is a feature that usually only works in Apple devices. Now, the only thing for this application is that um, if if you have, I have an iPhone and an iPad around me, and what I was testing was because right now 
obviously a Windows computer does not have the W1 chip or whatever it is that Apple put into um, the AirPods and into their phones so that they sync so seamlessly without even having to go to Bluetooth. They don't have those. We just have Bluetooth, low energy, and things like that, and quick pair. Now, when I turn on Bluetooth on both the iPad and the iPhone, when this computer does not get a chance to connect to the AirPods because the iPhone and iPad are much faster at connecting because they're seamless, more seamless. So those work more over this computer here. Um, so what I had to do when I was recording, when I'm recording this video is I had to actually turn off Bluetooth off of those devices uh, temporarily that way or just unpair the AirPods if you want to do that way. That way they, they work well. Um, that way they, I can guarantee that I can show you guys that when it does work, this is what happens. So to close out the video, I'm gonna put them back in the case and let's see if the splash screen shows up. Close it, yep, splash screen shows up. You see it on the right over there. And yeah, so that was it. That was Magic Pods. Magic Pods, it's a paid application. I think it's $1.99, I believe, but I'll put the, obviously the price and everything in the description and in front of you. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely should do it. I got more uh, app reviews for the Microsoft front or Microsoft developers that I find interesting. I have a whole list of them. I have a whole list of, on my dry erase board of just apps that I can look at. And I have a whole bunch of them for you guys all the way through December, so. Stay tuned for a lot more app reviews, and there's a lot of news coming on the Xbox front, so stay tuned. My name is Kwaku. I hope you guys have a fantastic Thursday. So